Good evening. Welcome to Storytime with Jacob. Tonight's story entails the journey of a boy and his classmates, along with their father, Mr. Mueller, on a trip to Washington, D.C. Our story begins in my basement some nights ago. This hey, the, Jacob! This is the crew. James Franco! <laughs> James Franco! Right there is... It's roughly 3.43 in the a.m. We have, we have to go. What time do we have to go, Josh? 4.15. 4.15 is when no. we're going. No. And we're still awake. And there's Garrett. Do the thing. Do the thing, Garrett. Do the thing where you, where you do the thing. Ooh. Oh, he's getting carted off. Dude. Really? Mr. Mueller, if you ever watch this, <laughs> this is what happened. This is why we killed those people. All right? Don't use this against me in court of law, but this is why. I, I feel as if we owe you an explanation. <laughs> this is why, all right? How, how long do we have till we sleep again, Josh? Uh, roughly 19 hours. 19 hours is a rough <laughs> guesstimate. That's a guess and an estimate. Uh, Let me get on camera. <laughs> All right. What are you feeling right now, Riley? I'm gonna throw up. You're gonna throw yeah. up. Why is that? Because our plane scared me. I'm gonna die. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Look at these people. Said the camera. Where did you get that for? Uh, what are you feeling right now, Rachel? Yeah. Rachel, focus. I feel good. I am so excited. Mine's funny. I'm feeling good. I'm <laughs> feeling good. Here's the plane. We're about to sit. Hey, guys, where did you get that? Hey guys. Get the get the plane. Well, I want to get this. Jessica, is this your first time on a plane? <laughs> and, and Taylor, and Taylor, Taylor too. Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Taylor, shut out of the camera. <laughs> it's roughly 10:16 in the morning. I haven't showered in hours. My hair is kind of greasy. It's it's awful. But I made it through the first flight successfully without peeing, and I was able to find a McDonald's. And we're in the Chicago airport, and it's huge. And I've only almost got lost a couple times, so we're doing pretty good. Say hi to the people. Yay. I'm a people. No, you're not. What time is it? Oh, uh, one. It's about that time. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate. It's 1.47. All right, it's 1.47. We just got here. And we already decided there are changes that need to be made. First off, why don't, why don't you tell them our first video, Josh? It needs to be changed to America Town. The Not name. America, America. America. America Town. <laughs> Explain this, Zach. Explain it. Uh, Washington DC. Sponsored by Coca Cola. Washington DC makes no sense. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. District of Columbia? What is that? America City. Bringing in the dough. No, town. No, no, city. It's too. No, it's Murphy. All right. That part can be debated later in Congress, but out with the monuments, in with the casinos, reduce the national debt like that. America City, USA. You heard it here first. I just did. Okay. Okay. It's, wait, it's, it's roughly 3 13, and we're at the National Archive, and look at this door. <laughs> that door is Jeez! Look at that door! Somebody go stand over there and show it's a Normandy. Oh, this is Big Lube! And this is Big Door! Jeez! Look at that! It goes all the way up there and it's ridiculously huge! Jeez! It's crazy! Look at the door one more time! Okay, 755, day number two in DC. Kick things off, we're in the world's most awesome McDonald's that I've seen to this point. Look at that. That's a McDonald's fountain. And decorative balloons for St. Patrick's Day. And there's a separate level, which I can't show you. But there is one. Say hi to the good people, Zach. Hi. That's Jazz. <laughs> there he is. Well, there it is. Okay, it's, it's 918, I'm here with Jessica, and we're at Mount Vernon. 
and we got ditched by everybody else because yeah, we're the cool kids. We're into the new cool Even kids. Even though they're right over they there. They think they're cool. They're over there. But earlier they weren't. We're standing by the tulip, tulip tree. Tulip tree. Circa 1785. Look at that. Jessica's dishing out facts like a madman. And we're feeling pretty cool right now. So See That's later. how you do that. Oh. It's 9.30. I made a pretty amazing discovery right now. Still at Mount Vernon. We found George Washington's very own recycling bin that he made with his own two hands. Go, go on. This is KJ. This is KJ's new wheelchair. Imagine this on this. Yes, yes. It's roughly 12:58. Here's Josh, and that's Zach, and we're about to enter this. Not literally the statue, but the Museum of Space and Sciences. We might never return. This is KLC. See, kind of boring, and there's a rocket thing. And it's huge. Look at how big that is. And then Kelsey's gone because she got bored. But look at the rocket again. There, and there's Kelsey again. And it was weird, but look at how big that thing is. It's huge. And Sean. And the rock. Hey, Shauna. Shauna. Shauna, Shauna, look. This is Shauna. She just. No, I didn't. Two people were holding no, hands. I didn't. About to fall into deep love as a family. It was a. <laughs> as a, as, a, as family. And she broke right through it. They were trying to away from me, and they. She broke through it, and they had, the, they had hands like this. She's like. The child almost. You want to know the truth? And the child almost. The yeah, child, so let's hear Sean. No, story. I'm not done. Yeah. The but child Zach's not fell done. down crying. And Shauna kicked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she kicked it. Yeah. No. We're not talking. Yeah, you. okay. But, yeah. It's 248. We just spent almost three hours at the SAC Museum of Space and stuff. Here's a giant plane. The Smithsonian, my bad. And it was pretty awesome, but me and Josh here, say hi to Josh. We didn't get a go on the simulation, which you can tell we're crushed about. So, from some respects, you can say it was a waste, but it, it was still pretty cool, in all. And there's Zach. Nobody really wants to see him. Pat. And Kelsey. Don't look at her for too long. And Shauna. So that's how that went. It's 326 here. We're about to enter the zoo. And there's a large percentage of birds in the zoo. So this, this could be my last video for the trip. I'm not sure, but it's it's been fun, and I just I can't handle this anymore. So I'm I'm giving the camera to someone else. Uh, you'll be missed. All right, it's roughly 4:24. We're here at the zoo, and me and Rachel have made a bet. If Rachel wears her hair like so for the remainder of the day. Then I will go to the bird thing for a minute and a half. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. No, what? Shake on it. Two minutes. Shake on it. Shake on it. Wait, two and a half. No, two. <laughs> oh my God, okay. you're seriously gonna. You, you, two. You guys are gonna just, have to read shake. it. Shake, shake. <laughs> <laughs> go. This right here is General E. Lee's house. To say thank you to General Lee, they buried all the Union soldiers in his front lawn. All right, it's roughly 9.26. Here's me and Zach trying take two. You didn't get to see take one. This is take two of the subway. Check this out. Whoa. Look how long that is. Look, look, at, that. look at his face. See, look into his eyes. That's the heart of a champion. We've decided, me, Josh, and Zach, we're going to intimidate our roommates by being wrestlers. My name's Squatting Sparrow. What are you, Josh? Badger Claw. 
and Zach. Leon. Me and Josh went up against each other in the state championship as wrestlers, and we're going to rematch. Zach's going to be a gay guy, oh, and Matt right there I'm is not an intimidator. Be. He is. See you later. It's around 450, and I regret to inform you that the bird cage was closed. <laughs> so I couldn't go through, and Rachel still wore her hair like a freak for a long period of time, which I find hilarious. It's 11.26 and we're about to witness something pretty special here. KJ just found his long lost brother and they're about to be united for the first time 17 years. Bro, where you been all this time? Oh, give him a hug. Oh. Elephant. And the long history of the world, only a few generations has been granted the rule defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. I don't know how to go without the words because my speech teacher never really taught me anything. So I'm just going to like free ball up from here. Uh, yeah, I got no. Yeah, I don't know. Straight up. You guys are all stupid. Like a magnet. Getting your guys with my little accent. Flavor. Teddy. Boom. I like the way you. I love that song. We're here at our new hotel for the close up program. And it's roughly 11.25. There's Matthew, but you already know him. Here's my new brosives. State your name and why you're here. My name is Seth, and I'm here because I'm on the close-up program. That's awful. All right. <laughs> my name is Max, and I'm here on the close-up program. You guys are both terrible. You see what I'm living with? Look at this. He thinks he can rock the koala yeah, he, can't. <laughs> he can't. We'll see how this goes, but... Alright, so me and Ben are here at the yeah. Jefferson Memorial. Yeah. It's pretty it's our bro, our bro it's, it's pretty intense. There's there's my bros of Doug. He's awesome. And uh, well I already forgot my book and the teacher already hates me. So I discovered that it's not just Nebraska, it's everywhere. And I know what you're thinking, why are you wearing a koala hat? Well I'll tell you it's so cold I'd be wearing a koala suit if I could. But there's that. Okay, there. there it is. There's the White House that we can't go to. This, this fence, this is as close up as we're going to get. A close up. Dear Mr. President, I really hope that these uh, White House tour cuts really help with this sequester deal. But if things don't get better, then I suggest that uh, maybe the White House plumbing or something is the next to go. Okay, I'm freaking out. We have to leave in like 10 minutes, and I lost my koala hat. And instead of acting on it and looking for it, I'm just videotaping myself and freaking out like a bunch of people do. <sighs> this could be the worst day ever. Well, here's the World War II Memorial. Hi, camera. You got the Pacific over here, Atlantic, you've got KJ being annoying right there, and Ben. Uh, this is pretty cool right here. There it is, Mr. Mueller, the Lincoln Memorial. And this temple is in the hearts of Mr. Mueller, for whom he saved the Union. The memory of Abraham Lincoln is enshrined forever. There's your boy. Well, here it is, the big old reflecting pool. I suppose that means I should do some reflecting. Well, I've desecrated a bunch of monuments, which is bad. I broke the hearts of like a million girls so far, for which I'm regretful. 
I lost my koala hat, which is awful. And I ran into de deodorant this morning, so that's just terrible. And I suppose I could be a little nicer to Mr. Mueller, but I probably won't. So there it is, the reflecting pool. So I was just at the Vietnam Memorial. That was pretty cool. A lot of lives that were lost there. Pretty surreal place. But I have to add, I really think my name should be up there. I mean, come on. I helped save that country from grace. Seriously. Well, here's me and Ben. And we're at the uh, African American Civil War Memorial thing. What do you think of it so far, Ben? Solid. Anything to say to Mr. Mueller or Mrs. Johnson or whoever else I might show this to? <laughs> oh, well. I love lamp. You love lamp? Yes. Anything else? I love desk. You really love desk, Ben, or are you just saying that? I love desk. That's beautiful, Ben. And how do you feel about the memorial? It's wonderful. All right. Thank you, Ben Chief. You're welcome. You have a sign off? All right. This here is KJ next to this newsstand. And he's telling me that he forgot our graffiti spray paint that we brought so that we could vandalize things such as this. What do you have to say for yourself? I didn't know I had the graffiti. Shut up. Ben said he gave it to you. Uh, I wasn't aware of this graffiti. <laughs> ben, tell him. I gave it to you. Do you deny it? <laughs> I do deny do it. Do you? I do. What do you think about this, Ben? He's lying. There it is. <laughs> Convicted. If you don't see KJ Pat what kind point, of you know Mr. Mueller, what kind me, of Matthew, and Key and Ben here. We've come to you unanimous decision as a student council that we need ourselves a son in Nebraska. You see that? We gotta get ourselves one of those. So if you could talk to the school board or something for us. Then here's the Iwo Jima Memorial, the raising of the flag. Jacob, you have to do the pretty cool. You have to go around. But, uh, oh, Matthew. What do you think of this memorial? Very nice and very well crafted. Well, that was a boring response. <laughs> okay, ask Ben what he thinks. Ben, let's try this again. What do you think? Okay, I'm just calling names. I'm just oh, okay. for I'm just starting at the top of the list. Uh, your Max, okay. Uh, Steph? Seth Thompson, yeah, right here. Okay, Jacob? He's back right here. Right here. And Matthew? Right here. here right, we thanks. are. It's the morning that we go see our congressmen and whatnot. And let's just have a quick reveal. I didn't bring a tie. I couldn't tie a tie. It was awful. Zach forgot a tie. Annabelle. A Annabelle. Josh and Ben and Matt are looking good. No, I have a tie. I forgot my name too. And KJ can't get down the thing because the elevator's broken, so he's riding on down. What a success. By the way, me and Zach are not so getting married. the Supreme Court. Josh, why don't you tell us about the Supreme Court? Yeah. yeah. What? Tell the good people about the it's Supreme weak. Court. <laughs> Okay, could you give us a little insight on your foreign policy? You're going to talk to the... Oh, I was just going to nuke them all. <laughs> nuke all of them? For what reasons? Because we can. That's Josh Langmaier on foreign well, policy. We're here in line, so you know what that means. It's time for a fun time with Ben. <laughs> How you doing, Ben? Uh, wonderful. Why are you doing wonderful, Ben? Uh, I like the land. <laughs> <laughs> you have anything fun or exciting to share with the good people? Uh, no. Nothing at all. Tell about the man. You let Matt, Matt will cover it. Oh no, Ben will cover it. <laughs> one, of, so one of you guys got to cover it. Well, you know, Emily, she told me she understood the whole story. <laughs> Somebody's got to tell me. Okay, this is crazy, guys. All right. Sort of like Jacob, but not a little more extreme. You know, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Continue. And he was yelling. All right. What was he yelling? Uh, just kidding. Just kidding oh, about what, Ben? I'm not sure. I'm not sure? Up. I believe it was the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence that he was joking about. Well, what was he? What was he implying there? That he likes land. I'm pretty sure that pretty much covers it. Who wanted to reenact? Who wanted to? Katie. No, I don't. Katie, you got it. No, I got it. It's on Say you, Katie. Josh, Josh, Josh. Oh, oh. This is Dubsy. <laughs> Everybody call him Dubsy. I don't want to be called Dubsy. 
Or Jake. Or Jake. <laughs> or Jocko. Or Jocko Bosnia. Or Jock Sneeze. Or, or any of those other ridiculous <laughs> ones. Or Jake the Snake or Snakey. Let's just go with Jesus. future presidential candidate, Jacob Ford. <laughs> Can we go AKA with Dubsy. No. Chuck. <laughs> so we're here with Dad. That's Uncle Chuck over there. <laughs> so Dad, what do you hope to learn today? Um, I don't know. I'm hoping you guys ask good questions of our senators. You're putting that faith in us. <laughs> yes. Us? Yeah, Look guys. at. Really? Really. What about you, Uncle Chuck? I hope to learn why we have to stand in line to learn about our government. That's a very good question. And you going to throw something in there about the White House, Dad? Uh, maybe. Maybe you guys should. Maybe you guys uh, should ask why our White House tour got cut because of sequestration. Why we have to wait in line 40 minutes just to get in the Senate building. So, that'd be great. <laughs> Of course, they may not even show up to meet with us, so who knows? Dad had a rough night. He didn't sleep well. I didn't sleep well last Dad night. didn't sleep well. No, I also got sunburned. Ah. I got sunburned. <laughs> Let's look at this line for a second. Look at this. We're around a curb, and then it goes over there, and then up to this. went through a pretty turbulent time. Uh, Kaylin, what just happened right there? Well, I tossed my last penny in the fountain, and you didn't even get it on camera. That's so, on I mean, me. That was the last of my money. That's on me. That's it. The, government took it. The whole trip, your college savings. Hey, what's your problem, Michaela? You! Just tell me. Okay. This, this well, whole okay. trip, it's been like Let me this. see this. Look at that. You have a freaking fanny pack on. Like, Looks good. It's meant to be a backpack, not a fanny pack. Okay. Forget the backpack. You've been like this the whole trip. You want to fight me? Yeah, I do want to you fight wanna you. You want to fight right now? But you're too chicken to fight me. I'm on the camera. Yeah. You are too chicken to fight me. I'm not going to drop you in the capital, Michaela. <laughs> All these people. I'm just sick of this. Can we just be friends? Maybe. What do you mean maybe? Okay, well, well we can be friends today. Okay. No, I don't want to. Why? Because you're a jerk. You just said you wanted to be my friend. Shut up. Okay, so before we were so rudely interrupted, what exactly happened with this penny? So I threw a penny in the fountain and you missed it. You didn't uh, get it. I missed it. Me? It was your fault. I mean. And what was the significance of that, that penny? It was my last day of my life. For your entire life? Now. You can no longer go to college. I'm it's sorry. Not an From the bottom of my heart, the government that now has my last cent, and it's your fault. I'm so scoot down just a little bit more. Jacob's gonna go right his foot. Uh oh! I'm the capital center. <laughs> This is Mr. Mueller at the place where, Ms. where Mr. Lincoln was when he was in the House of Representatives. That's right where his desk was. <laughs> right here on this floor. Look at those. He's just, <laughs> yeah. So glad I. This is the Capitol. It's so sweet. I hurt myself last time walking in here, so this time it's good. Look at how big it is. Jacob, can I be in it? No. No, you're making it weird. Rachel looking at the chandelier. Ah. Ooh. Describe it for us, Rachel. Eagle. Look at it. Look at it. Ooh. 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 Eagle. Nebraska. Okay, so here we are at the Capitol building bro. for the bro -mentary. Josh and Dan and Zach and Key and Matt. So, <laughs> so there's some big old snipers up there somewhere, but I can't see them no more. KJ, how do you feel about the Capitol? It's bored. Josh, you tell us about the Capitol. That's awful. Zach, Zach, tell us about the Capitol. I was once here in 1781. That's a straight lie. <laughs> Why would I lie about that? Shut up. I got I shot. Built that. You didn't get shot. Did. Look, look at this. Look at the top thing. I built that. You. The top statue. 
Are we seriously the only four? Library of Congress. Zach. So could you summarize that? This is the originals. Of ratification. Can you summarize that for us? The six something something the something something. Yeah, these are original. By the something. Can you summarize that? Blurry, 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 smudge, 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 government. So photography, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> the Congressional Library. How do you feel, Katie? I feel pretty darn good. You're at the library? Yeah, I like it. What about it? It's cool. Probably. Josh, how do you feel about these books? Thanks. Jessica wanted to be on video. Say something cool. Jessica. That was cool. awful. What about the library? I would do my homework in there. Would you do Mr. Mueller's homework? No. And his worksheets? No, those are awful. <laughs> those are terrible. <laughs> Still pretty cool though. Well, here's the Supreme Court. No, wait, that's a picture of the Supreme Court put over the Supreme Court. And that's Jessica. Right, ladies being and gentlemen, a this what? is the 147. 147. 147. Right, Mrs. Pinto, what do you do? You don't order pizza, that's what you do. There's, there's Zach, you know him. Josh, he's useless. This here's Doug. This is my Republican brosive. Got anything to say, Doug? All right, thanks, Doug. They're going to suck. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey. All right. Is it done? This right here. This is Max. <laughs> what do you like to do, Max? Go to the penthouse. penthouse. I can't say it because it's inappropriate. All right. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Max. <laughs> and then Seth walked out. But this. Look at this room. Dude, look how many quarters beat down. Look at how many quarters there are. <laughs> this is awful. This is the one four seven. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We gotta get next door. We're so yeah, we stupid. There you go. Hey Sherry. Here we are at the patent office. That's a tree. That's the patent office. You're very welcome. Thank you. It's so, our so, tour guide. Yeah. So, so we're here at the at the patent office. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, Chida couldn't be here, but uh, uh, we look forward to seeing her in July. And uh, take care. All right. <laughs> I see you having a good time with your little camera. Yeah! Good story. You might as well video set with something entertaining. I mean, look, straight from the catacomb coming off the top of the dome, I'll give you ten lines of the front of a dime, a savage on the mic, then I'll blow your mind, cause I'll leave you so tight. You better believe that these lyrics are legit, come up from the side of my hip, well and quick, you call me track, cause I'll represent. I'll leave the speaking bones in the tree, vibrate, smoke you the ground, and the prison right, you can't deny it when it comes to this. I'm about to grasp your brain and break the chains to claim my fame, cause only case my rage like the grid of a hulk in a rage when I hit the stage. There you go. Whoa. This is what happens when you leave your room unattended. And mess with the 147. 147. They'll know us. Max and Seth, you should know better, bro. I didn't want to have to do this, but you made me. But we did it. You made me. Let's go eat pizza. Look at that, huh? Pizza. That's a mattress, buddy. Where's the pillows? So I found I Georgetown, but I kind of got lost, which is the bad news. But the good news is I found a cane. Ooh. Oh, yeah, and a church thing. But mostly a can. Man, it's awesome. Ooh. Church. Can. So this is the sport they call lacrosse. At Georgetown. It's like football. Only it's not at all. It's not fun. So I'm here at Georgetown and I'm back with the group and everyone seems to be under the impression that I got lost. Got lost. Which yeah. I want everyone to know is a complete and total lie. I have an innate no. sense of direction. No. I have an internal compass no, that sometimes is a little bit off. But I always end up right where I'm supposed to be. No, you don't. So if somebody says I got lost, they lied. Lost. You wouldn't. Yes, they would. You wouldn't. Shut up. Okay. 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 Uh, Let me say something. Uh, Let me say something. We've been walking. We've been walking for hours, hours. maybe days. My my perception's all gone. It was no. gone before. Uh, I haven't I, eaten in months. I got lost only a few times. I made my way back. Uh, we almost got hit by several cars on the highway. 
We lost rhythm and count multiple times, but at the end of the day, I made my way back, and and now it's on to find Mr. Miyuda. Dad. Dad, A.K.E. So, uh, and we found uh, Corona Extra. Uh, I'm that. throwing up. So, he's throwing up. Does anyone else have anything to add? <laughs> That's gonna get free. Know, this here's Key. How's your trip been so far, Key? It's been quite wonderful. That's awful. <laughs> That's the best you could give me. <laughs> you wanna do it? Take two. Marker. This here is Key. <laughs> What's happened so far? Anything interesting, Key? Nope. Take three. <laughs> Marker. This right here is Canadian McKinley Russ. Yes. Has there been anything of worth that's happened to you or around you during the course of this trip? You got to go to the Capitol. That's pretty solid. <laughs> anything else? Oh, sauce. That's KJ failed to be KJ. <laughs> this is the stunt KJ. <laughs> All right, here's what happened on the thing. I got shot. I died. There was a UFO <laughs> forecast, oh, 75 <laughs> water mountains, and we blew up and died. I'm sorry, did you say water mountains? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's take five. Marker. All right, KJ, let's try this one more time. You have anything to say? I got shot. Or he Shut was up. Zach Lubin. Stop. You're a dirt man. Wild man of the West. Ben, you're a freak show. Ben, what is that? He, he, he just got arrested. Ben, stop. For wait, 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 wait. farting in public. Wait, wait. <laughs> and there he is. There's Officer Worker detaining him. see that. Whoa, Officer Worker's getting a little crazy. <laughs> dirt bag. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want you to admit on camera that your little act you put on, we're all cute and nice and respectful, is a complete and total lie. Yes, I'm a dirtbag. You're just nice to try to get girls. Tell no. you what, man, it doesn't work. You're a dirtbag. We all, we all see through it. Right, all I'm Officer over. Lube. We got ourselves a situation, Rube. This is Rube. 147, we got a situation I'm about to break in. <laughs> what what are you doing? What? What are you doing? What? You're under <laughs> why, why are you under the mattress? Because it's more comfortable. Get your hands. Get your hands. <laughs> get it. Where's your phone? I don't know. <laughs> why, I don't, why are you under the mattress? I don't even want to. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the first here's a three thousandth annual fight. <laughs> Jacob's got him on the <laughs> ground. He's got him. What? Josh, Josh is toying with him. Hold <laughs> the phone. Oh, there he goes. I was making it up. Jacob's, <laughs> Jacob's holding it. Jacob's holding it. Jacob's holding it. There he goes. Get him, Josh. <laughs> They're all getting hard because they're going to be on camera. He's about to get him. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> and Josh. <laughs> Josh is one for the oh, fourth time. Oh, he's got oh. his shoe. It ain't over until it's over, yeah. Jacob says. Oh, oh. He's going to get him in the oh, headlock. No, it's wrestling. <laughs> okay, I'll give. What do you have to say about this, Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this pile of stuff. Oh, my God. You bitches! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Fuck, what happened to your bed, dude? What happened? What the <laughs> heck? Who did that? Oh my god. <laughs> That's <laughs> awful. I'm gonna kill oh you. That's god. awful. Yeah, this, this is how 147 gets ready to look good. Fuck look at this. It looks good. Yeah. This, is, this is the pregame. <laughs> this is the prep. <laughs> pre We're getting prepped. Flex. Flex. We're getting Flex. ready. Okay. Let's go. 147. 147. 147 for life. Zach Lubin here with uh, 147, and we're going to have an interview with Jacob Borka. It's roughly 10.26, really. Um, here's Jacob, 147 News, yep. 147 News Academy. Okay, Jacob, so what just happened? I just crossed the freaking hall. We have 11 a.m. bed check, and guess who broke it? 
me. This kid right here broke it. I crossed the hall. In other news, Harvard wins in basketball. Here I am. Harvard. Four seven, dude. The largest upset. Number fourteen team ranked. Beats number thirteen. The four seven. The four Question seven. for you and you. Why do you live in Canada? I don't. You live in Michigan. <laughs> You live as close as you can to Canada. Why do you live in Farmville? We don't live in Farmville. We live in the United States of America. Farmville. Jo Jefferson. Get out of here. <laughs> Jefferson bought you us in the Louisiana, Louisiana Purchase. You already have lakes. Get out of here. We got corn. We have corn. What do you have? Lakes? That's stupid. You're in Canada. That's why. We got hot chicks. Too. No, you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we got some too. Yeah. We got, like,. Just For every hot chick you have, we have like 15 more. Just keep yeah. that in mind. That math doesn't work because we yeah, have. Yeah, it does because we have 480 people in our grade. You have like seven. That's yeah, stupid. Have, think about how much more hot chicks we see on a daily basis than you. No, think about this math. We have at least four chicks here, and you're saying that there's how many more for each girl? No. Oh, 15. 15. So there's. Six I can't record all of this. Michigan girls here. These are my, these are my closing moments with my two roomies. What's your name? Seth. Shut up. <laughs> That's Max. Uh, it's four. You guys have any wonderful it's clothes? Four o'clock in the morning. It's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm trying to do it. It's, it's four thirty-nine a.m. And I just like to take a serious moment to recognize all that were lost in the trip to D.C. Let's have a moment of silence for the koala hat. So young. It will be missed. It wasn't even mine. So young. The ears so fuzzy, glistening in the wind. This is the worst bottle design known to man. First you gotta flip this thingy up, and then you gotta twist her. But wait, there's more. There's this white thing that's impenetrable. It's made out of solid steel. Who does that? What time is it? 5.39. That just makes it that much more. You won't. You won't. That's too <laughs> Ah, put me in, hey. coach. You won't. Hey, Kelsey. This is Kelsey and Rachel before the first fly. This is our first fly. Don't they look excited? This is the time. Look at it. That actually made me physically ill. Let's do this. Okay, we're here in Chicago Airport. We survived the first flight of our trek home. We're here with, we're here with Taylor. Taylor, how was the flight? Pretty. Pretty dead. We were all so tired. We're, we're dead. We're dead. We're actually not dead, but but we're alive. But it was pretty sleepy. We're alive, but we were dead. It was freaking six eight hour flight. No, two, one hour here flight. But first. <laughs> here's the one crew. Down. There's G, Zach, BS right over there. Right, right. So how you feeling about this last trip, Josh? Show my Hello Kitty socks. Stupid. <laughs> Wait, what was that? It's tiny. You think we'll survive? We're almost home. There's okay. zero chance in my mind that we survive this. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> There's Kelsey. <laughs> Kelsey, I just decided, is in the top 70 people that I would want to die with. So. That means that he likes me. So I'm pretty, pretty confident that we're gonna yeah. die. So. So he's telling me that because, yeah, we're dying. Okay. So it means a lot. Back in a great state in the first room. How's it feel? We're here with the Mr. Mueller at the end of the close-up trip. We are. Could you just give us a brief synopsis of the trip together, all together? We had a great trip. We had a fantastic trip. Uh, everything ran smoothly. You guys did a great job. Hopefully you learned a lot and saw a lot of things. And I had a blast. And all right. I'm cold because it's snowing in Nebraska. Now. It is a little bit snowy. Yeah. All right. See you later, Dad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Miss you. See you. This concludes the story of the class of 2013's trip to Washington, D.C.
with Mr. Mueller. Bye, Dad.